Former U.S. President George Bush and his former counterpart Tony Blair were found guilty of war crimes by the Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Tribunal, which held a four-day hearing in Malaysia. The five-panel tribunal unanimously decided that Bush and Blair committed genocide and crimes against peace and humanity when they invaded Iraq in 2003 in blatant violation of international law. The judges ruled that war against Iraq by both the former heads of states was a flagrant abuse of law and an act of aggression which amounted to a mass murder of the Iraqi people. Bush and Blair are uh, found guilty under the same law that applied to the Nazis uh, after the end of uh, World War II. Uh, so uh, they are uh, international criminals guilty of Nuremberg crimes against peace and they should be uh, prosecuted by any state in the world that gets a hold of them. And we will continue our efforts to bring Bush and Blair to justice and put them in jail. In their verdict, the judges said that the United States, under the leadership of Bush, forged documents to claim that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. They further said the findings of the tribunal be made available to members of the Rome Statute and the names of Bush and Blair be entered into a war crimes register. There is also a recommendation uh, that this be circulated to states because all states have universal jurisdiction and therefore whenever Bush or Blair appear within their shores, there is an obligation under international law to uh, commit these um, uh, criminals, international war criminals, through the justice system. Both Bush and Blair have repeatedly said the so-called war against terror was targeted at terrorists. Lawyers and human rights workers who are present here today say that the verdict by the tribunal is a landmark decision and the Kuala Lumpur War Crimes Tribunal say that they would persuade and lobby with the International Criminal Court to charge former US President George Bush and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair for war crimes charges. Maheshwari Ramakrishnan, Press TV, Kuala Lumpur.